Welcome to Introduction to Financial Accounting. By the end of this applet, you should be able to explain in general terms what accounting is and how it affects your life. When you hear the word accounting, what pops into your head? Money? Numbers? What about math? fraud? All of these are valid associations, even unfortunately fraud. You might be interested to know that while you will work with lots of numbers in financial accounting, you'll need only arithmetic and very basic algebra when it comes to the math. But what is accounting? Accounting is a series of steps designed to do three things. The first is to record. The second is to organize. And the third is to summarize. Record, organize, and summarize the transactions of a business. Why should you care that accounting provides a means of recording, organizing, and summarizing the transactions of a business? Think Target Corporation. Think back to the last time you were in a Target store or a similar store. How many items would you guess does a target cashier scan per hour on average? Estimating conservatively, maybe 15 items per customer, 10 customers per hour? The actual number is likely to be higher, but this estimate will do. Fifteen items per customer times 10 customers per hour is 150 items or sales transactions per hour. Target is open 14 hours per day, so 150 transactions per hour times 14 hours per day is 2,100 transactions for one day for one register. On average, how many registers are open? Sometimes just one, sometimes 10 or even 20. So let's guess four registers on average. Two thousand one hundred transactions per day for one register times four registers is eight thousand four hundred transactions for one day. Target stores are open around three hundred and sixty three days a year. So eight thousand four hundred times 363 is 3,049,200 transactions for one store for one year. And Target has 1,750 stores in the U.S. 3,049,200 times 1,750 is 5,336 million 100,000 transactions per year for Target Corporation. Yes, that's over 5 billion transactions. And that's only the sales transactions. Target would also have purchase transactions to buy the merchandise it sells, payroll benefits, payroll tax transactions, building related transactions, like mortgage payments, maintenance, and utilities, and more. So Target has billions of transactions a year. So what? Where are we going with this? Take a second and picture how much paper you would need if you printed every single one of the billions of transactions. Hold that thought. Now, back to accounting. What was the first thing that accounting does for the transactions of a business? Record. Target does, in fact, record every one of its transactions, mostly in electronic form. Let's imagine, though, 
that all of the transactions have been printed. Let's also say that you are an accountant at Target. You have all the transactions for the year at hand, and your boss at Target asks, so how are we doing? All you can do is roll your eyes and shrug in the direction of the rooms full of paper. What was the second thing that accounting does for the transactions of a business? Organize. Let's say that you spend the next few weeks or months organizing all of the transactions. You put all the sales transactions in one room, all the purchase transactions in a second room, all the payroll transactions in a third room, and so on. All of the transactions are organized, and your boss asks, so how are we doing? And once again, all you can do is roll your eyes and shrug. Which brings us to the third step. What was the third thing that accounting does for the transactions of a business? Summarize. So now you go to the room that holds all of the sales transactions and you add every last one of them up and get one number for total sales. Then you go to the room that holds all of the purchase transactions and you add all of them up. You do the same for all the payroll transactions and so on. You write the totals down on a piece of paper and when your boss asks, how are we doing? You will be able to provide an answer. That piece of paper with the totals for each type of transaction includes the same information as Target's annual report. Target calls the information the financial summary of operations. As you read the report, in millions means that every dollar amount in the report has been rounded to the nearest million Six decimal places have been dropped off to save space. Target's total for sales transactions is $65.7 billion. Target's total cost of the merchandise it sold is $45.7 billion. Payroll, benefits, utilities, etc. added up to a total of $13.4 billion. And Target had net earnings or profit for the year of $2.9 billion. How would you say Target is doing? Here are some more questions for you to think about. If Target did not record, organize, and summarize its transactions, how long do you think Target would stay in business? How long would any company stay in business if it did not record organize and summarize its transactions. How would the U.S. or global economies function if businesses did not record, organize, and summarize their transactions? How does accounting impact your life? This concludes the ACLET Introduction to Financial Accounting.